Hello everyone, this is Donald the Repentless with another episode of Life of an Inventory Auditor. I'm shooting this on Sunday night, but I'm going to put it up on Monday night. Excuse me. Simply put, I want to hear from you. If you're an auditor, no matter what company you're working for, I want to hear from you. If you're a stalker who, who stalks the shelves of a store every night, I want to hear from you. If you're a vendor who stocks their particular section, I want to hear from you. If you're someone who helps the inventory crew for your store, I want to hear from you. Part of, you know, I know, I know I'm small now, but part of what I want to do with this series is create something of a community. Um, community gets banded about a lot and Sometimes it's a good thing, sometimes it's a bad thing. But I like hearing people's experience in the inventory industry. Um, your know, war story is good, bad, or indifferent. You know, as long as you, you, know, you can do that. So, like I said, I want to hear from you. I want to, if you want to respond to my videos in the comments, if you want to produce... Uh, a reaction video or whatever do that um, <clears throat> because when you think about it and oftentimes this is not really noticed or well placed an importance on but when you work in like for a company like Regis, Wiss, PICS you're working for a company that has a long tradition you're carrying on this tradition of providing this service for your for the company's clients and it's a rich history I mean from the beginnings of it how it developed and all the technology that's come up about it are all things that need to be remembered I think so um, though the inventory is, even though the industry itself does not place as much importance on history and to an extent they do, history and tradition. I want to have, I want to put something up there that remembers and even celebrates all the people who have spent hours and hours working in this industry, carrying on this tradition of accuracy and um, just general, you know, like I said, accuracy and the techniques and the, all the things that built up because they worked. I want to hear from you if you work in the industry. And like I said, that's basically it. I want to hear from you. I want to hear the stories. I want to have a record of these stories, a record of this history that is, you know, you, you try to find this history online and it's not there. Um, in terms of, you know, and it might just be because I worked in this industry so long and because I find it interesting, everything, everything about it, but, you know, it would really be interesting to hear the stories of people who did this work in the 1950s, 1960s, and 70s and onwards and you know, get get um, record of that experience. You know, because it is a rich tradition. I consider it a rich tradition. I I still consider you know, even though I'm not as good as I used to be, I still consider it a privilege to be a part of this industry and its history. Even though I'm a very 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 small cog in a very big machine, it's still something that should be celebrated. The men and women who wake up at one, two, or three in the morning to get to work, get to a store at six o'clock in the morning or five o'clock in the morning. The people who work 12 hours to, to count one store. The people who do this and make a living at it. I mean, it is something that is pretty special. Um, I think the people who work in this industry and achieve in this industry and work at it for and become veterans are special people that should be celebrated 
in our culture because even though it's not a glamorous job, it's a tedious job, it is a job that has this history and this this excellence and this all this other stuff. No matter what company you work for, you know, you would like to think that your company and they would like to think their companies are providing an invaluable service to the retail industry and they are. So like I said, I want to hear from you. You know, um, well, really none of my videos get all that much feedback on it. But this series, this particular topic, um, I'm really wanting to get as much feedback, as many stories as possible. Um, and I don't know, maybe someday I could write like a, like a book on the history of inventory auditing. I don't know. Um, we'll see what happens. But if you know somebody that works in the inventory industry, um, let them know about this video. Let them know about my series. And I'm going to wrap it up here. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it on social media. Um, comment and subscribe. Subscribe for more of Life of an Inventory Auditor. This is Donald the Repentless signing off. Thank you everyone for watching.